Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is Vortex 259, and in our previous episode we finally found the legendary bird Lamia after all the trouble we went through to get the six orbs. And we found that we can fly on the back of Lamia, so we raced off to the north and landed next to this castle secluded in the mountains. That's going to be the Castle of the Dragon Queen, which we'll visit here in just a bit. But before we do, I wanted to show off my world map to you. I took some time flying around on the back of Lamia and filled in all those gray gaps in the map. For the most part, there's still a few gray gaps here and there. But if you're a completionist like me, you may want to take the time to do that. So there it is. And let's go inside the Dragon Queen's castle and take a look around and see what she may have to offer for us. Looks like she's got two horses or stallions standing at the entrance. Let's talk to one of them here. Yes, we can talk to horses in this game. <laughs> this horse says, Welcome to the Castle of the Dragon Queen. This castle is the closest to the Sky World above. This is the first place we hear about the Sky World, so keep that in the back of your mind. Sounds like a place we may be able to visit later in the game. Now, if we head off to the north here, we've got a series of doors we can go through, and it looks like the Dragon Queen has some hobbits who work as uh, servants or butlers, I guess, if you will, take care of the castle. And this hobbit says that Her Majesty is gravely ill. Oh, man. Well, it doesn't sound like she's doing too good. But she intends to lay her egg, even though it would cost her life. So, yeah, poor Dragon Queen. We may have to go pay our respects to her here. Well, it looks like we got a series of doors we can go through here. So let's do so here. See what all we can find. And if we go to the north here, we've got an elf standing next to some stained glass windows, I guess they are. This elf says, this castle is the closest to the sky world above, which we heard about from the horses. It is said that those earning the real title of hero will be led to the sky world by this beam of light. So yeah, remember that folks, Skyworld can be entered from the beam of light right there once we get the real title of hero. And if we check the center of this carpet here, we will find Tiny Metal number 70 laying there. That is going to complete the next set of Tiny Metals we need to get our next item from the Metal Master, so we'll go pay him a visit here in just a bit. But remember, we need to visit the Dragon Queen first, and we can find the Dragon Queen by going due south from there. And there she is. So let's talk to her here. She says, I am the Queen of Dragons. I am the messenger of the gods. If you possess the courage to battle the Demon King, I will entrust you with the Light Orb. I will pray that the Light Orb will help bring about peace quickly. Well, I bet you thought we were through obtaining orbs, didn't you? Well, if you did, you were wrong, because we're going to obtain the Light Orb here, and that's going to be a very important item, which we will put to use, well, toward the end of the game, as you'll see. So we'll just keep that handy in our uh, inventory for now. And the Dragon Queen says, for the sake of my unborn baby, and she passes away after laying her egg. So Hero softly laid a hand on the egg and finds that there was the sound of gentle breathing. So she passes away, unfortunately, but not before leaving her offspring behind in the egg. Well, that's going to be pretty much all we can do here. But I do have 70 tiny metals now in my inventory, so I'm going to make a quick trip back to Aliahan and turn those tiny metals in for my next prize. So I'll see you there. And here we are, back at Metal Manor. So let's just go inside and talk to the Metal Master and turn in our next set of Tiny Metals. So we'll just talk to him here and confirm that we're going to turn in 70 Tiny Metals. So that's going to earn me a new prize. That's going to earn me the Agility Scarf, which will raise one character's agility by 30 points should you choose to equip it. So that's just going to go into Hero's Inventory there. And we find that we need uh, 10 more Tiny Metals. When the total reaches 80, I'm going to be rewarded with the Dragon Fist or the Dragon Knuckles. And you know, I was going through my inventory earlier and I found that I did not have an accessory equipped on Hero. Shame on me, huh? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and equip that Agility Scarf on him. That will take his agility up to 85, which is a pretty decent boost there. 
Okay, well guess what? We have finished exploring the overworld, so that leaves only one more item on our to-do list. Yes, that's right. It is time to go pay the Demon Lord Baramos a visit and bring him to justice. So what we're going to do is exit out here and take a quick look at our map. Just to refresh your memory, Baramos' castle is located in the Gondo region. What we're going to do is get on Lamia and fly to the west. And uh, the Demon Lord's castle is right in this vicinity right here. Shouldn't take too long to get there now that we have Lamia to fly on. So let's just get on her back and start soaring to the west. And we'll cross across Lancel here. There's the navel of the earth. And continuing westward, we should go just a little bit further. Let's take a quick peek at the map here. Yeah, it looks like we're about ready to start turning to the north, so here we go. And we'll cross some mountains here. And there's the Gondo Cave right there that we visited earlier, the Gondo Shrine. And now that uh, we have Lamia, we can cross the mountains here and make our way to Baramos' castle. So let's go inside here and find that we've got some pretty eerie music to greet us. Now there's the entrance to the castle. That seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? Well, we're not actually going to go in there. We're going to go off to the east. Real quick here, I'll show you my uh, character stats. Right now, Hero and Peter level 30. Glenn is almost level 30. And Matt is approaching level 26. So I think I should be okay at those levels here. Keep in mind, there's going to be some pretty tough enemies, as you can imagine, here in uh, Baramosa's castle. So I'm pretty sure we'll be putting that heal all spell to use quite a bit. Alright, so let's start heading to the east here. And we're going to go down this staircase right here to start off with. There should be a treasure down here waiting for us. There are several treasures we can get here in Baramosa's castle. So we'll cross through the basement here. And we are going to make a right turn here. And we get to fight a new enemy. These are ice dragons. So let's just fight them here. And let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll have Pete fight in that fight too. And dragon, ice dragon B falls there. Ice dragon A does too. And that just leaves C. Yeah, he doesn't do too terribly much damage. Hero's armor does some damage to him. And Glenn takes him out with the Thunder Sword. So we get only 330 experience, not too much from the Ice Dragons. 270 gold. And I get the Ice Dragon Monster Medal to add to my list. Okay, let's continue to the east here. And that was a battle with some Lion Heads, which we can also fight in the Gondo Cave. Okay, we've got a door we can unlock here, and there is a dead person laying on this bed. No reply, it's just a corpse, but if we check next to the corpse to the left, we will find tiny metal number 71 waiting there. Alright, let's exit out, go back to the staircase we entered through. But not before we fight another new enemy, this is Evil Mage. They can cast some pretty strong spells. The one you want to watch out for is the Blizzard spell, which will do a lot of damage to all four of your characters. They can also breathe fire for some pretty decent damage. I'm going to have Pete use the Mist Staff on them to try to silence them. Everybody else is just going to attack. And naturally, the Mist Staff doesn't work. And they can also cast the Heal All spell, which will recover all their HP. And there's the Blizzard spell. Oh man, 64, 65, 30, and 30 damage. Yep, I'm going to have to heal up here after fighting these guys. There's another one casting Heal All. Alright, well, we'll just fight them all here. He takes out Evil Mage B, and Matt is going to take out the last one, and we get a lot of experience. Another good place to grind, 1,650 experience points with 340 gold. And the 
Exodus 2, the south and east here where we entered from. And Glenn was promoted to level 30 after that battle with some Hell Knights. Okay, there's the staircase, and I guess we'll go ahead and stop here for today. But next time we meet, we will continue exploring Baramos' castle, and hopefully we will eventually get to the evil demon lord himself, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching today's episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. This is Vortex 259. We'll see you again next time.